Hey guys, welcome to episode number 72. Today's Friday, so it's Fan Friday. And I actually had a request from my uh, most recent video uh, from a user called Boom Lights Out. And uh, the question was about how I built my basking area in my 125 gallon um, turtle uh, aquarium here. And uh, before I get to that, uh, I'd like to kind of walk through a couple different common options that people choose when they're um, considering their uh, basking platforms for their turtles. So probably the most common option here is uh, number one, the turtle dock. And uh, those are pretty those are pretty common. They're uh, they're really well known. I mean, you can pick it up in any pet store. Uh, basically, you suction cup it onto the side of your tank. It kind of floats up and down with the water level. And the only downside is you can't raise your water level all the way up. Uh, it's got to be somewhere around 75% of the way full. So you don't really get to maximize your water volume. And when you're talking about turtle aquariums, one of the largest things to consider is trying to maximize your water volume because turtles are fairly messy and the more water you know the more filtration you can add to the tank the better um, it means you know you can go a little bit longer between water changes the second option here is uh, the turtle topper and uh, these seem to be fairly popular as well it's it's kind of a uh, a mass-produced uh, version of what many people um, build themselves. Um, it's meant to sit on top of an aquarium and uh, it. the one good thing about it is it allows you to fill your water all the way up 100% of the way full and uh, it, it provides a ramp so that your turtles can climb out into a chamber. You can light the chamber um, so that uh, you have you have uh, your entire aquarium devoted to your turtles and your fish and then above your aquarium you have the basking area um, You know, it's made of plastic. I don't know that it's made for very large turtles. It only comes for certain size tanks um, and uh, Honestly, there's cheaper ways to do it and that kind of leads me to option number three here which is uh, an above tank basking area D DIY projects, you know, there's hundreds of versions of this just google above tank basking area uh, or search for it on YouTube um, everyone kind of has their own version of this um, and uh, basically what it comes down to is um, some sort of you, typically egg laying um, container and in this case um, I've, I've drawn like a, a concrete mixing tub is, is a fairly popular option here uh, with uh, some supports, uh, two by fours or or two by three um, support beams to kind of hold it in place, in in line, in level with with the top of the aquarium, and then again having the ramp up into the platform, and then just having some sort of plexiglass surround around that um, would be a, a fairly cheap way to go about getting a hundred percent of your water volume. Um, I guess the only downside is um, to, to, to the turtle topper, you can't put uh, any sort of normal um, hood on your tank. Um, not that you want to with a turtle, but it, all of a sudden, you know, a, a full-sized uh, screen doesn't work. Um, you know, it, it might not fit with some of uh, the canopies that exist out there. And again, over here, this is a little unsightly, kind of uh, sitting to the side or behind the tank um, and it just kind of extends the the the, the width of, uh, of of your tank here um, and kind of detracts from the tank itself because you've also got something else to look at anyways that's kind of what led me to the fourth option here which was uh, to, to start to plan out this uh, 125 gallon aquarium I did some some sketches and some thinking and uh, this was actually the first drawing that I did and uh, the plan here was to have one sand beach um, with maybe like a, a cave below it and then have a, a 3d background and then uh, do like some sort of log or stump that kind of came out of the water here and in this sketch I only have the water like a third of the way full 
And what I quickly realized was, um, like like this shows, I want to try to maximize my amount of water in the aquarium. So uh, this this idea wasn't going to work. But what I did do was I, I kind of thought it through and modified it a little bit. And uh, what I came to is uh, this here. It is only, it shows only being three-fourths full. Uh, I think in the final version, I, I maybe got it a little bit more than that. Um, but the, the basic idea uh, kind of really turned out exactly as I, as I drew it here. So here's my drawing. I've kind of got the two beaches on either side, the background, and then the substrate in the bottom. And if you look, see I've got my beach here, beach there, substrate, background. And uh, the, the theory here was uh, I wanted to create one habitat. Uh, I wanted the 3D background to be surrounding all three sides of the aquarium. And uh, I, I wanted them to be able to kind of climb out on their own, um, also using, you know, bark to, to assist that climbing out but uh, I wanted to build it into the tank I didn't want an above tank basking area sitting above the tank I didn't want it sitting off to the side of the tank I wanted it built into the tank and as you can see just kind of like looking at the aquarium um, I, I think it's it's fairly successful because I don't lose a whole lot of water volume and uh, it does look fairly natural the turtles can climb out and uh, they do have a, a warm side over here with my uh, mercury vapor bulb and they do have a cool side here uh, and this is just a, a night light so um, just kind of walking behind here it's kind of dark but there's a two inch piece here there's another two inch piece here and that forms the majority of this background that runs the entire length here and um, what I did was I installed those pieces first and then um, I did the side pieces here so you'll see there's, there's a side piece here and then there's a front piece here and with those three pieces uh, it kind of formed the base and then I just put a flat sheet over the top which kind of formed my platform right so I've got the three legs here for the three sides and then I've got my platform, two inch platform. And then I added additional pieces here, which kind of form a lip. So as you can see, like here's the end of the two inch piece, but it rises. Oops. Here's the end of the two inch piece, but it rises a little bit above. And what that allowed me to do was um, put some gravel in uh, and, and allow kind of a, a, a retaining wall using using my my foam and my dry lock to allow some of those those rocks uh, originally I had sand in there uh, but to allow that to uh, stay up top and form that beach that you see there um, so that's basically how I went about it um, I did do a video update a while back um, I'm not sure which episode it was, but it was in regards to um, the uh, the dry lock here and how well it's holding up. Um, if you can see here, right at the water line, uh, there is some white that's showing up here. You see most of it's algae, but there's a white line here, and that's where the two pieces of styrofoam break, and uh, they're glued together. And there is a little bit of damage there. Um, and there is a little bit of damage even to the pieces below the water, if you can see those white marks, where the claws are starting to dig in past the dry lock into the foam. Uh, it's not that big of a deal um, as long as you plan for it. And uh, how I would recommend planning for that is um, instead of doing a flat beach right here, a, a flat piece of foam, uh, I would actually recommend taking that two inch piece and putting it at an angle so that when you carve it, uh, it's got a, a nice thick piece that allows you to kind of get that one one seamless um, beach. Uh, and, and that will avoid this line right here, which is the main source uh, for some of that damage. Uh, it's just a, a weak point in that surface uh, as, as they're climbing out. 
and uh, you know, putting as many coats as possible of the dry lock on that surface is going to lock it together uh, as 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 good as you can, um, especially in the in the zones where you think you're going to get high traffic, like on this edge, on this edge. The turtles love to swim against the glass, and they also love to prop themselves up on the background at the same time. So knowing that they love those two edges the most, um, that's where you should uh, spend uh, more time uh, painting additional coats of dry lock. And then adding natural elements like bark to... Uh, to, to give them a surface to climb up on uh, and, and let that take the wear and tear is, is also a good option. Uh, I did have the sand up here originally. It didn't, uh, it didn't fare too well. It didn't, it didn't last as long as I'd like it to just because this isn't waterproof and the water level kind of goes up beyond it. Uh, I never intended this to be a beach where they could lay eggs in. Um, so there is a little bit of leaking here. Um, so the water does extend into this, uh, this area here, the beach area. And uh, because of that, uh, it, it, the sand kind of uh, went stagnant real quick. And uh, it, wasn't, it wasn't good news. But uh, I, did, I did wash it a couple times before I decided, you know what, it's, it's easier to just put rocks up here for now. And uh, I think the plants have really liked that. As you can see, the plants have really taken off. It's just like a, a carpet of plants towards the back here. And there's barely enough room to bask. And I, I've been cutting these plants back to make sure that um, there's still some room left there. But that's essentially what I did to, to create those basking surfaces. It is essentially the 3D background. Uh, it's just an extension of that. One important point to note is there are braces on this aquarium, and because of that, I, I built the background in one piece, and then I broke it up. You saw that in the previous video. Um, and and you never want to re remove the brace. That's what's keeping the tank in one piece. I mean, when you fill this thing with water, there's a lot of pressure, and believe it or not, these little pieces of plastic hold the glass in place so it doesn't bow and, and break. Um, you'll also notice that my canopy isn't actually sitting on the plastic because if it was it would be putting pressure down which might snap this piece of plastic which then might cause the, the tank to bow and crack so that's important um, but I did break my background into multiple pieces that's not a scary thing to do you know I spent a lot of time working on it but I wasn't scared of uh, breaking it into pieces because I knew it would go back together just the same way you know it's easy to touch it up once you get it in the tank once you get it siliconed in place um, so that so that wasn't that bad but it was such a tight fit that I did need to put pieces in small pieces in uh, sideways and then kind of wedge them into place uh, as, as they went uh, past past the lip here on either side of the, the frame um, so that's how I got them in. They're siliconed in the back. They're siliconed in the bottom. Uh, they aren't siliconed on the front or the side, just for, for viewing purposes. Um, but the turtles really love it. They love to hang out under here. Um, it is kind of like a cave area like I originally planned. But um, it is also their, their basking surface. So a uh, two-inch piece of uh, polystyrene foam uh, will do fine for a basking area as long as you have enough coats of dry lock to protect it. So that's what I did. I wanted to incorporate the, uh, the basking surface into my background, make it one continuous piece, and I think it worked out really well. Uh, let me know what you guys think, and uh, if you make one of your own, uh, post a video reply. And uh, if you have any uh, uh, comments on any of my videos, feel free to post those. And uh, if it's something I like, I'll, I'll respond to it in uh, a Fan Friday video. So that's all I've got for right now. Uh, I hope you guys learned a few things about basking areas and what's possible. And uh, I really think my option here um, is uh, kind of unique and uh, really natural compared to some of these other options. 
And granted, these options are, are cheaper, um, but they are kind of unsightly when, when compared to uh, what you can do with a little bit of time and effort. But hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you later. Thanks.